Hi guys, this is your girl Soco de la Rosa and I am back with another video. Um, I'm doing a nail tutorial. Uh, I will be doing a ombre, pink and white ombre, also known as the baby boomer. Um, it's just going to be super quick and simple, a few crystals and a uh, pixie. So just keep on watching guys. Okay, so like you saw right now, I was uh, applying the white on the tips and now I like to go in with my favorite nude or whatever your client chose, whatever color she chose. And I like to apply it a little bit more on the extra wet side so I can drag it down to the white and it can have like a better blend. As you can see, I'm applying the bead, not toward all the way to the cuticle area, but more toward the center and then on the back and just drag it all the way down so you can have a nice and pretty blend. Okay, so on the ring finger, I am doing a V-cut French. Um, she wanted it, so I like to get a larger bead of acrylic and gently drag it down a little bit closer towards the tip so you can have a better chance of making a nice and sharp cut with your utensil. Um, so I just like it to dip it into the dry acrylic and make the cut so that way the wet acrylic won't stick to the uh, your cutting utensil that you're using um, if it's not perfect it's fine you are gonna, going to go back and you can just whenever it's dry just file it with your nail file and just make it as nice and straight and sharp okay so right now I am grabbing my clear acrylic I'm encapsulating with my Mia secret and you're gonna repeat to all of the nails once you are done with that encapsulating we are going to go back to the french and file it and after that you apply your white acrylic and again encapsulate it so you can be ready for filing
so like I told you right now just grab your file if your cut wasn't nice and straight you can just grab it file it and um like if you saw me twisting her hand it, I just wanted to make sure it was nice and straight with the tip so just grab your file shape it don't worry it's gonna be fine um try to make it as nice and straight you know they don't, they don't have to be perfect just whatever they look nice then just apply your um white acrylic and then just go over with the clear acrylic so you can um start shaping and filing Okay, so here I'm just grabbing my portable file and with my fine bit, just so I just like to make it as smooth as I can. So I just go first on the vertical sides, go gently around the cuticle without cutting your client and then down the middle. Repeat to all the nails. Um, if you see any imperfection, you can always go back. Don't worry, it's okay. The only thing that you really want to do with this is just shape it better and remove all the scratches that the nail file did. And then you're going to go back with your buffer. You can always remove any imperfection. And then um, after that, I always like to go on my client's bottom of the nails and just give it a good cleanup. For me, it's always really important just because it just speaks really good about yourself you're winning your client you know you know she's gonna be back so just take your time and do her nails you know don't be in a rush um just check every detail Okay, so right here I just grab a different bit that has a um, thinner edge and I just like to seal my cuticle area push your cuticle back as much as you can without hurting your client and then just gently go around your cuticle making sure your acrylic is nice and even with your natural nail repeat to all the nails Okay, so now I'm grabbing my buffer, just buffing every single nail, top and bottom, making sure that any roughness, any scratches, um, 
are on the nail just making sure it's more on the cleaner and softer look and then i just like uh whenever i'm done buffing i like to go back with my file and just give that edge of the tip an extra little sharpness because sometimes the buffer may um remove a little bit of the edges Okay, so once uh, your client has her nice wash, clean hands, um, and now I'm gluing some Swarovski crystals around her ring finger, around her cuticle area, and then she just wants a little bit of the Swarovski pixie on her middle finger, and then just apply your favorite finished gel, cure for three minutes, apply your favorite um, cuticle oil, and you are done. Just wait till the end, guys. So now I like to get an old brush and grab your favorite diamond gel. Apply a gently amount of the gel to your nail so you can sprinkle your Swarovski Pixie. And um, when you apply a generous amount of the gel, just make sure that your Swarovski Pixie is going to be nice and attached to it. Okay, so now I like to get my fan brush, remove any excess pixie that didn't attach to the nail. Just apply a little bit of my primer, just for the little extra secureness and to prevent lifting. Um, I figure that it works for me. And then just apply your favorite finish gel, cure for three minutes, and you can apply your cuticle oil. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you like this cute and nice simple design. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my video. Follow me on my social media, so called the nail chick. See you guys on my next video. Bye guys.